Hi, let's take a look at the Quick 861DW Hot Air Rework Station. This unit is uh, good value and has had positive reviews on various video blogs. And I have, I have a surprising problem with this unit. Uh, most of the units I noticed on, uh, on the videos uh, are in Celsius display. And this one is in Fahrenheit. Let me show you my presets here. You can see that there's a, the temperature display is in Fahrenheit, which is fine for me because uh, I'm a Yankee and I, kn I know how to deal with Fahrenheit, but there seems to be some problems uh, with the way this works. You can see that I have my presets set to 500 degrees, 611, and 721. Uh, that's our starting point. Let's take a look at how we update the temperature setting. I'm going to change this to 550 and I'm going to store that. You push the channel 1 button and you hold it down. There, now it's storing. Now it went back to 500. That's interesting. Let me push the button again. Oh, it's still at 500. Let me just go to my 611 and go back to it. Oh, it's still 500 even though I changed it to 550. The strange thing is, if I turn it off and turn it back on, and now I go back to channel 1, now it's at 548. So it didn't quite get to 550, but it's not at 500 either. That's, that's very strange. Let's see, it's, uh, channel 2 is still at 611. Let's go ahead and update that one to 650. We'll go 650 on that one. We'll store it. Hold it down. There we go, it's storing. Okay, push it again. Same problem. It hasn't updated. It still says uh, 611. Let's go to the third channel. Let's update that to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, maybe I'm not holding the button down long enough. Let me hold it down even longer. I'm holding it down. Wait till that walks all the way across the screen. Okay. Still, both of these are not updating. Let me turn it off. Turn it back on. Ah, this one's updated uh, to 748. And channel 2 is to 649. It's so, uh, apparently, it's uh, saving the settings somewhere, but you have to turn a power cycle the device to, to get the updates to, to uh, be implemented. And not only that, but there seems to be a, a rounding problem here of some sort. Uh, I stored 750 and I stored 650, but they're uh, one degree off. Uh, some of them are two degrees off. Uh, if anybody who's done any software uh, development at all would probably recognize this as a, a rookie uh, programming mistake where you're storing the uh, temperature even though it's displayed in Fahrenheit on this unit. You're storing it perhaps in Celsius as an integer and so you're going to have some rounding problems. That would be my educated guess in terms of uh, where the problem may be and unfortunately this doesn't look like some kind of a manufacturing defect. This looks like a design defect, so a replacement unit I don't think would uh, would solve the problem here. So this is, uh, this is really annoying. Um, I guess I would prefer really to just to have the uh, Celsius unit that works correctly. Uh, and most uh, soldering uh, uh, data sheets and so forth are listed in Celsius anyway. So um, not sure what to, to think about this, uh, other, other than this uh, annoying problem with the Fahrenheit uh, issue. Uh, this is a good unit. I'm hoping there's a way that this can just be switched to, to Celsius. Perhaps there's some kind of a key sequence. Uh, I've, I've written the uh, distributor T equipment and I've also, and who's forwarded to, to the uh, manufacturer and there's been no response, so I'm not sure what to think of this. Um, so anyway, that's the quick 861DW, uh, the strange Fahrenheit problem.